What's up, guys, and welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21. to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Lunenburg Championship is about to start. The Lunenburg Championship. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam and Rich. Do you see them competing in the Corn Ferry Tour Championship? They won't have to if they choose not to because the way they've been playing this year, as consistent as they have been, guaranteed a PGA Tour card in my mind. I mean, it's not guaranteed yet. We still have two more championships to go. However, if we could just, you know, win this thing out right here, then that that's going to going to do a a very good thing for us without a doubt. We we really we really could use that here. If we're able to win this thing out, that's going to punch our ticket up there. We don't even have to play out the rest of the season. This is uh, I think fifth championship out of 6. So um uh, that's a high caliber shot. Let's see if we can get into the PGA the Tour for the next episode or not. Who knows uh, Who knows how that's going to go. So it looks like we're going to go all the way over here. The The pin is down there. I'm kind of thinking about getting a little aggressive here, all right? This might be a, a really bad idea. Let me, let me see what we've got going on. Do we think we're going to be able to go through the trees here? Could we, could we try to do something like this? Could you imagine if we went with the driver and went through the trees? This is a horribly bad idea, but I'm doing it. The interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. Oh, come on, you're better than that. <laughs> Dude is straight roasting us. All right, that's fine. I mean, we're still going to be able to we're still going to be able to work with this. So we're going to want to uh, we're going to want to aim about here. We're going to want to land on that fairway and just just kind of roll on down to the green. That's a perfect shot there. The wind's going to catch it. We're going to land in the fairway. Just let it let it roll. Let it ride. We recovered from it. I, I tried to go for something extra epic. I mean, we, we were we were looking yeah, for some sort of an eagle issue. or something there. No, this is for birdie here. To have a hold of that hmm. one. I'm going to try to do a flop shot, and we're, we're going to try to give it some backspin. We got the wind in our face. It's not going to affect it that much, though. I'm, I'm thinking, thinking something like that. Oh, my gosh. That was straight on. Put a little bit too much power on it. I didn't mean to have that much power, but it does look like we are going to be able to be able to par this thing out. So we, I mean, we tried to do something a little bit different. It, it wasn't the best idea in the world. I mean, it could have been much better. We could have gone straight through those branches and made it down to the green and one shot on a par five, looking at an albatross, or I guess that would have been our second shot, wouldn't it? So no, we, we were not gonna albatross there. We were gonna be looking at an eagle, but uh, you know, we could have bounced off the tree trunk and, and had a really bad day. So overall, I don't, I don't think it was the worst thing in the world. We're just, we're just, we're gonna try to play this one a little bit more traditional, I think. Got the wind at our face and pushing the ball a little bit right, but it looks as if we're gonna be able to make it onto the fairway. Okay. Love to see it. We're off to a pretty good start here. You guys know last episode, we were off to a really good start and then we kind of fell apart towards the end. So we're gonna to try to do better than that this time. This is gonna be tough because we're obviously gonna have roll, but we're also gonna have, oof. We've got our five wood. We've also got the wind at our front. That's a perfect shot. Little underpowered, which I was trying to do. It's gonna bounce and roll. We didn't get up over the hill though, so we are gonna be pretty far from the pin, and we're gonna be we're gonna be rolling backwards. We need to just settle their ball. All right, this is gonna be a uh, a 54 foot putt to the 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 hole here. We've got some lefts at the start. We've got some lefts in the middle. I mean, I'm I'm gonna aim I'm gonna aim something like this, I think. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That's a solid putt. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's eleven hard. foot putt, a little bit left. Hang Not on, too this much. Pretty handy. Sink it. Even through the first two here, we really need to start stepping things up. Ooh, this is spicy. We want to aim a little bit left because of that wind. We want it to try to roll down this hill. Dude, this is insane. Look at that cliffside right there. There's almost no room for air. We had a perfect shot. It's curving right a little bit thanks to that wind. Come on. Going to end up a little bit 
a little bit shorter than I would have liked. I would have loved it to just kind of go straight down the the speedway there. That's all right. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. This is this is tough, dude. This this is a really tough shot right here. So we've got the seven mile hour wind, but we're also gonna have the 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 roll that we're gonna deal with. I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna aim Opting something the like there. Well, they Come on. A little bounce to the right here. Come on. A little bit short, but that's that's okay. That's not the worst thing in the world, dude. This is a crazy course. Look at the wooden stairs leading up to the next tee box and stuff. This and one's for birdie. Gonna be a uh, 33 foot putt, super hard to the right off the start. Good. Not super hard, but hard to the right off the start and then pretty flat throughout the rest. Definitely underpowered it there, but hey, we're gonna be able to get it close. And um, oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. We're gonna be able to be able to par that thing out. So we really need to start getting this rolling. Fowler is four under through 18. Paul Casey is four under through seven, so he's going to be something to mess with here. We really need to start thinking about potentially, uh, you know, um, you know, getting getting some birdies and such. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Came out of a cannon. It's curving left a little bit. Watch that tree. But then the the wind pushed it back right. That was a fantastic shot there. Here we go. We've stayed consistent. We need to stay consistent here, but we also need to, to really start picking our game up a bit. So we've got an 11 mile an hour wind. I'm thinking we might want to go with the sand wedge. I'm going to go sand wedge with the backspin and put it there. A little bit fast, a little heavy on the power. Oh, we rolled back down the hill once. I thought we were going to be able to get up over the edge of the hill and it was just going to stay planted. Oh, that's okay. It's honestly not, not moving that much. The thing we don't want to do is go over this and end up going down the hill. We got to stay really reserved here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just me. But we didn't go down the hill, so we're good. We're we're still in the hunt here. We just we need to find that extra gear. We need to get into that extra extra mindset. We we just parred out so far. Staying consistent, that's fine. We just need to need to pick this up. We're gonna par five here. This is gonna be a birdie guaranteed. Personal guarantee. Got a nine mile an hour wind, pretty hard to the left. So I'm gonna aim about here. Absolutely drilled that one. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. A little bit, little bit slow, but right down the middle of the fairway. Kind of a little to the right, but we'll, we'll still, we'll still be happy with that. Second shot here on the fifth. Second shot, we got a three wood driver. Could give us just a little bit more. I don't even think that's worth it. So we're gonna aim a little bit left again. A little bit fast. That's gonna curve more left that's than we want it to, but it line. might be able to bounce left. back in. Yes, sir. That's exactly what we were looking for. Put us back in the middle. Pretty good shot there. All right, we're going to put this thing Getting spot on the hole. Dude, this, today is so Point hard because of all right the winds. To left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Pitching wedge with backspin. Wind's going to carry it a little bit. Not a ton. I'll place it right there. Good on power. Perfect on our swing. This going right at the pin here. She's going to settle, and that's going to set us up for a birdie here. We need to make sure we, we convert, though. A little bit to the right. Not a lot. Nine-foot putt. So I don't think we need to aim too far to the left, and we're going to be able to get one under there. Okay. So we're going to take that, and we're just going to keep rolling with it. Right now, tied for, for first is four under. It's going to be a par three with a 12-mile-an-hour win behind us, but it's going to be a fairly short one. Oh, dude, this is just brutal. Gonna stick with the three wood. Perfect swing. Want to get it up over that hill. Let it bounce and roll towards the pin. We're gonna have a little bit of a little bit of a, a green to work with here. We are gonna have some. Oh, we don't have that much movement at all. 
made birdie on the last looking for a second in a row here i think we're going to be able to just put this straight give it a little extra power to make sure it doesn't move yes sir oh that is how we do it starting to bring her around bring it around town bring it around is that a spongebob spongebob thing i'm pretty sure all right par four nine mile on our wins we got our three wood we could get a little bit a little bit crazy with the driver Where's the hole? Hole's down there. Dude. Oh, that is crushed. What? Oh, this should affect the ball flight. I thought we were going to be able to get through that tree. Oh my god, that was the dumbest thing I ever could have done in my entire life. It's following the the cart path down the entire way. Oh my god, dude, that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I don't know why I'm feeling so spicy today. Like I, I just I sitting at two under par, trying to break into the top ten. <laughs> if we recover from this, I swear to God, dude. Opting for the five iron. Oh no, you mother! Going with the five iron here. Got it up there that time. All over it like a tropical disease. Oh, what did you just say? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Announcer. Not a bad shot, that. Still a For chance. double bogey. This putt is from 14 feet. That I mean, I'm just oh, trying to make it entertaining for you guys out here. That was the that was the dumbest thing we've ever tried to do. Is for triple bogey. I to be honest, I was just excited to try to hit the green. Or try to hit the fairway all the way down there. I I, I wasn't even paying attention. I, I didn't even look look to see if there were trees. I really didn't. Hopefully they can shake it off and concentrate on this one. Got a nine mile an hour wind right in front of us, so we're gonna aim a little bit a little bit further. Oh, please don't end up in the the bunker. Of course we are. When it rains, it pours. It's all right. We're gonna be able to hit out of this. Hopefully. Coming up from the sand. Nine mile an hour winds. I'm going to do a pitch shot with the pitching wedge. We just need to get a little bit a little bit more umph out of this. We're going to give it some backspin. And we're going to aim it right about there. A little bit underpowered, but that's not bad. Ooh. No harm, no foul. Nicely done. That shot. For birdie here. Right, on right to left, to 15 hole. feet. I'm gonna this give it something like line. that. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna get in there. That's gonna bring us back to even. Dude, we're we're gonna bring this back. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm about to go absolutely ham. Ian Poulter ended up ended up with 500 through 18. Shoot, Paul Casey is is 500 through 12. He's three holes in front of us and he's already 500. That is not good. I'm gonna go with a six iron here. We're gonna give it some some back spin. We're actually probably going to want to go with a five iron with some backspin. Seven mile an hour winds. We're going to place it about there. A little bit too much power. Perfect swing though. It is going to end up a little bit right of the pin. But it could potentially... I was hoping it was going to potentially roll down the hill a little bit. Oh, this is rough. 25 foot putt with a heavy right to left. I'm going to put it about another. there. Not enough. Okay. Close. But not enough. That's like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Good news is we're just going to be able to Ooh, make sure that, that we, like we put that in there and we're, we're good to go. <sighs> just got to fight our way back from this double boogie. We got, we got time, dude. We got time. We got the whole, the whole back nine to work this thing out to figure ourselves out. Let's go ahead and rip that one a little bit slow, but as long as we get up over that bunker. Oh my god, dude, stop it. That hurts. That was a good swing there. That's going to put us in a good position. Let's just try to get a, a good a good iron shot out of this straight at the pin. Let's put it close and, and knock it in for birdie. Come on. Let's birdie out the rest of this here. So I'm going to go with our 9 iron. We're going to bring some backspin in there. 7 mile an hour winds that we're hitting into here. We're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of height. So I'm going to aim. 
I'm gonna aim about Choosing like that, a little bit here. fast, but it looks like we might be in a good Should spot here. Green here. That's playable. A wonderful shot. It's not gonna be an easy shot, shot, but it's playable. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. A little bit to the left, not too much. Give it a little extra ump behind it, and we're gonna be able to put that one in there. Okay. Ten toll. We we turned the corner there. We we turned into the back nine, and we're we're gonna make sure that we we just focus up here, Trev. Got a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. We got our driver. We got a wind behind us. Rip that thing, baby. A little bit fast. It's curving left. The wind's going to take it left as well. Please don't go too far left. Had 100% power. And we're going to end up in the fairway. Just making his way downtown. Rolling fast. Kissing nice grass. And he's homebound. Da -na 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 -na. From around Get in that hole, boy. Straight Here we go. Wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Six mile an hour winds. With a bounce, we gave it some backspin. Perfect swing, tracking a little bit left of the hole. Definitely oh, don't. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. We're on the green. I was going to say, definitely don't want to go down the back side of the green. I don't want to try to make my way up that mountain again. An opportunity. Here we go. This one for back to back birdies. 18 feet to the pin. Not too much in terms of movement, but it is fairly long. Uh, more than I thought. That's all right. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. That's all right. We'll take a part. How are we looking in the the overall? Negative one through eleven. Patrick Cantley's looking pretty good. Shoot, dude, these guys are. Let's see what happens here. These guys are ballers. We also would have been in a good spot had we not done what we did. I don't think it's worth hitting the driver here. We got this winds. Just gonna use our three wood. Just a nice, simple hit there. Please stay in the fairway. Please bounce in. Please bounce in. Please bounce in. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We're, we're looking all right. I'm kind of hoping for another opportunity to get creative. I just, I want to make a story here. You know what I mean? Hopefully, you guys don't mind that I, I like being a little bit creative. Shoot. I'm going to go with that five hybrid. We're going to try to place it about here. This is dangerous. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Mm -hmm. This one's headed towards the rough. We're done. That's that's the ball game for us right there. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. One of the <sighs> misses for this player day, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. That wind is rough, dude. It's it's worse than I thought. There's the shot that we should have had. That's that's the shot that we should have shot. If we would have done that, well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. That starts off on a good line. Bogey. That that's gonna get us back to even. If we if we could have hit With that shot the first time, we would have been in great in great contention. Backing up a slow. Thirteenth hole here on that leaderboard, Luke. The announcers are having a fun time making fun of us here today. Why is it curving so far left? It's not that windy. What was that, like a six mile an hour wind or something? We're going to bounce back in. We're good. Okay. This is a quite little fishing village over off here to our left. Second shot here on the 13th. Six mile an hour wind in our face. I'm going to give us a little bit of backspin. Maybe a little bit less. something like that tried to underpower it a bit that might be that might be beautiful that is beautiful well played mate good look at birdie here gonna be able to birdie that one in Always good to lead the we'll take it category that's a all right <clears throat> back to negative one to I mean it's not completely out of the cards yet all right. it Here really isn't it, it is it is possible this is dangerous I'm gonna go with with a little bit of backspin Try to get this thing to stop at its tracks. We got an eight mile an hour winds. I'm gonna aim about right there. A little bit underpowered. I don't know if that's what we wanted. We'll oh, find this out. Is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh my god! Wow, what a shot! Oh, well. What? Here we go. The slow mo. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Oh my gosh, dude. That <sighs> made up for it. Made up for our hijinks so far today. We're going to be able to birdie that one out, so that's going to put us two under. I like it. Two in a row. <sighs> Focus up, Trev. Come on. Focus up. Patrick Cantley. This tie with the impulser. At five under. Got a par five here. This player needs to make it happen and now. They don't need a birdie. They need an eagle. They don't need a birdie. They need an eagle. So it's kind of against us. I'm going to aim about here, I think. A little bit fast. It's going to make us track left. We're going in that bunker. Unless this thing stops and has a good a good hop for us. That's all right. We'll hit it out of the rough. That's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Seven mile an hour wind right at us. I mean, guys, they're in the deep stuff here, and they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. We just, we just got to go for it. We're gonna be fine. So we're gonna be on in three, which is where we wanted. This is, this is looking like it's gonna be a really tough, That's a, a tough green option. though. Back Let's pay attention to the, getting ready to play the there, movement though. of it. Yeah, dude, this is rough. Six mile an hour wind directly at us. I'm gonna go eight iron with a little bit of backspin. Maybe a little, a little less than that. I'm think. I mean, we're we're head on into it, so I think we got to go further than we think. I think that was a pretty good shot. A little bit slow, so we're going to trend right, but we are going to roll back down that hill. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. All right. Now settle. Now stop. Stop. Perfect. Just, just right there. Oh my gosh, dude. What did I pull up? I don't even know what I did right there. All right, you know what? Just to make this and hope that we continue to get the comeback, I'm going to use a putt preview. I'm sorry. Oof, we would have missed it, and we would have went rolling down the hill. I just, I, I had to, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to aim a little bit more right. <sighs> we, we deserve it. Honestly, we were, we deserve it, hundred percent. We don't use putt previews here, Trev. I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you didn't get that. I'm glad you parked because you didn't deserve it. So we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Don't think that that I don't have confidence in my game. All right, we've got three holes left. Down by three, right? We got this. We got this. I'm gonna go eight iron with a little bit of backspin. Nine mile an hour wind is going to make this really tough, so I'm thinking we got to put it right about here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that one's looking good. That's looking good. Stop! <sighs> going to be a, a decent okay, length points. putt. That's how you play Not goal. too much to deal Almost with in terms of movement. This is Fantastic. this is huge. 13 feet. Putting for birdie. Hey, nice looking line. And mark it down. That's we sink those, baby. We're three under. We're two to go. Please tell me. Oh my gosh, dude. First place is still. We got we've got two guys on this the same hole as us. First place is still negative negative five. Five under. Seven on our win straight ahead. We've got a five wood. I mean, dude, we kind of have to, right? That's gonna go through the tree though, so that's not a good idea. What if, what if we did something like that? That's still going to go through the tree and that's still an awful idea. I think we maybe do driver and just, let's try to keep it clear of the tree, but let's try to get it over. Let's just try to get it as close as possible. I mean, I don't even know how much this is really going to help us if we get it close, but screw it. Put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. That was a beautiful shot. Don't roll too far though. It's going to roll pretty far. It's going to put us in the rough. We probably should have just laid that up and played it safe, but I I, I mean, I, I can't I can't control myself. Here we go. Bit of backspin. Quite deep into the rough here, guys. Eight mile an hour wins. Not seeing the likelihood of getting a lot of this one. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Seven iron, sorry. One club too many. A little bit too hard. Well, Shoot, dude. We needed this. We need this okay, birdie here, huh? This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Come on. Come on. 
Oh my gosh, dude, we were so close. All right, we're 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 par. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well played. We can work with it. We can work with it, dude. If we would have chipped that in, ah, they went up to they went up to six hundred anyway. I, I figured that was coming. Eighteenth hole. Let's have a little bit of fun with it. Ooh, this is this is ugly. So we've got to hit a wood, but we've got to get it to stop and not roll too far. I mean, that was a perfect swing, tracking directly towards the hole. I'd be a little bit worried about it bouncing and rolling out, though, right? I guess the hill kind of stopped it. Luke. Wow. Unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. I don't think that was a horrible kick, dude. I feel like that was halfway decent. I'm going to do a nice light hit there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Straight out of the Perfectly straight on. Yes. Great, great, great match. There on that so we're going to have to go play our, our final cornfield tour set up it, it's fine we so last episode we upped the difficulty so obviously we're having to go further and further under par which makes things hard this one we probably could have saved three strokes on that one hole we probably could have saved more than three strokes i think we would have won this one if we wouldn't have tried to get creative but i'm also trying to keep the the series fun and lighthearted and that sort of thing like i'm gonna try to win i'm gonna try to do well but if we can try to have some fun at the same time, I think I'm, I'm going to. So hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode and our final Cornfield Tour event. It's going to be at the, uh, the summits at Cloudcrest Country Club. So I'm looking forward to it. Drop a like if you guys are too. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys there.